We are on our way to Bodhi State Park, just off of the Highway 270, but we had to pull over because we have sheep. Such a city boy that I am that I still get excited just when I see a cow off the side of the road, more or less to see sheep and a good flock of them. But at the moment, they're just enjoying a nice, well, brunch. It's not quite lunch. Well, if you guessed it, we made it to Bodhi, an old mining town on the eastern side of the Sierra Nevadas, because during the gold rush, uh, most of California's gold was discovered on the western side, which we plan to uh, head over in a few days. But at right now, since we're still on the eastern side, Bodhi uh, had its heyday in the 1870s. About 3% of the buildings still exist. It's, it was deserted after the town went bust, but uh, thankfully the state of California took control over it, is doing its best to do some sort of preservation, not restoration. Let's have a look around. It was steam powered, Will, look at that, mm. it's a piston. Look at that cable, oh my God. These are the elevators for the miners, Will. This is what would have taken them down. Yes. Wow. Can you imagine the mindset of the people that lived here in this day? It's historically amazing. All for silver or gold. I'm not sure which one it was. Oh my God. And the mindset of some of these families that were probably so poor that living out here, isolated almost, it was worth a chance of uh, seeking out a living. That must be kind of interesting to be a park ranger. You're in a nice area. It's, it is beautiful country and you get to sleep in a historic place where some family who was trying to seek out a living was had their family. I think it's pretty cool. And right here, right across the street is where the town came to worship. I believe this is a Methodist church. Uh, obviously you cannot go inside because they want to keep as much damage and wear as possible. Is it my imagination or does the building look like it's shifted to the right? It's sinking on the left. It's lower on the left than it is on the right. Hello, little fella. Willard. Take Willard. your time, Willard. Take your time. <laughs> oh. Oh, Steve, I'm so glad we got to come back here. Yeah. Look at the layers of linoleum. My goodness. That's good to see. They wanted to create a home. Layers wallpaper. of paper. Layers of wallpaper. Wow. I mean, it's a small bedroom, but it works. 
Nice lighting, a little closet. I don't think they had too many clothes, so that would have been fine. Wow. Nice fireplace to keep you warm here. Yeah. As you yeah. ask each other, how was your day? They must have had like a, the exhaust for a pipe, like a stove, standalone stove. Mm, my God, Will. You know, this is charming. Oh, here. Those are great stoves. Is that door open? Look at the layers of linoleum on the floor. Will. Must be the bathroom. Oh, no. It's the kitchen. I take it back there. Must be like a little pantry. Mm -hmm. Or their outhouse. Oh, this must be a saw thing, a mill. Though only 3% of the town still exists, I think this is a good example to show you that the, it wasn't just single men who came here to work the mines. They had a family, wives, children, they built schools, and I think they really did a good job as with the resources they have around, around here to create as best quality of life they can to provide for their families. It's a cute house. I would take it. Fixed up, of course. This is Mr. Cameron's house. And Mr. Cameron came from Canada. So it wasn't just people from California or the Midwest that wanted to strike it rich. It crossed international borders. Let's have, see if we could have a peek to see how his standard of living is. It's pretty rough to me. Looks like rough trade to me. <laughs> See if we can take a little peek a Rooney through this hole. Let's hope nothing jumps out at me. Nothing in there, maybe. Really. What about this one? What we're seeing here are, looks like wooden slats at the lower portion of the building, but the top part are metal, and I think what they are are tin cans that have been flattened out so that they could use them as shingles. Here, I'm going to have a closer look right here. I think that's what these were. 
not sure. These ones might have been proper metal shingles. I did talk that Bodhi does have uh, a lot of families living here, but there was also many, many single men just trying to earn a living, send money back home, and it was a rough life for them, and I'm sure they were tired, depressed. Bonanza Street, right behind me, had about 60 saloons, and I think 60 saloons is quite a lot. There was also places for, uh, you know, where there's single men, prostitutes, so they could have some company. And even further behind me it is a little Chinese community where they provided opium for people just trying to escape this. Although it's a beautiful surrounding, going down to the mines, which I'm sure they were probably going down probably six, maybe seven days a week, I don't know if the mine closed on Sunday for a day of rest. It's tough. It's tough and people needed to escape even back then. Oh, it's a parking garage. It's deceiving since there's only 3% of the building still left, but right now we are actually on Main Street. It doesn't seem like that busy, but this would have been where all the activity would have been taking place. And as a community, people got married, had children, there's a schoolhouse, and people died. And right here is where the undertaker is at. Well, these are sleighs. Oh, yeah. Yes, hydroelectric building. Right here behind me is the second elementary school built for the children of Bodhi. The first one was burned down deliberately by a juvenile delinquent. We don't know the story behind that child and why he did it, but at its height, for the residents, it had about 615 students. And 
later on in a moment we'll talk about another juvenile delinquent that did a little bit more damage than just one schoolhouse. This is the largest mine that's behind me. I don't know if any of them got any bigger and were taken down later on once the investment stopped. At its height, Bodie had between maybe they estimate 6,000 to 7,000 residents living here. I talk about families, single men, Bonanza Street that had all these 50 to 60 saloons. It was a rough area. That's rough to be down there and these men needed to escape. It said that there was a lot of shootouts that occurred. The families and the residents didn't mind these shootouts because as far as they're concerning, anyone who died from the shootout probably deserved to be died and it's one less bad person. And any innocent victim who may have been uh, in the crossfires was also considered, well, he deserved it because, well, what are you doing there? It's a wild place. Just a shell. It's empty inside. Wooden planks. Many of these buildings are made out of wood. They had many fires here and they had their own volunteer fire department because once a blaze starts, it goes. And as I mentioned, there was one other famous little boy who at a school functioned didn't get the ice cream that he was hoping for and went back home upset grabbed some matches came back to the town and destroyed about I think they said about 80 structures I talked about saloons gambling prostitutes but where the real criminal activity took place here's the bank for Bodie, built in 1890. The vault is what the only thing that um, still remains. Uh, the bank itself was made out of wood and burned, but uh, the precious uh, vault did remain. And despite the valuable gold that was taken out of here, the amount of the population that did live here, and I'm sure there was a lot of unsavory characters who were just coming in and out of the town, the bank was never robbed. Here in Bodhi, it's very windy and you're exposed to the elements. It's hot, but the houses are small. Reason being is it gets cold here. It snows, deep snow at that. And so you want a small house to contain the heat. You don't want to be spending too much money on fuel. If you have enjoyed this episode and believe we've earned your subscription, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching.